Hello everyone. So in this video again, we have a fairly interesting question for you, who's particularly two vectors. So let's say function f of f x y equal to x cube plus y cube by x square minus y square, where x square minus y square not equal to zero and zero one x square minus y square equal to zero. Then the directional derivatives of f at zero zero in the direction of four by five i cap plus three by five j cap is. So let's take a look. So here we have. f of x x comma y is equal to q plus y q square minus y square for y square not equal to zero and subsequently. Zero for x square is equal to zero. So at zero comma zero cap, we have by five i cap plus three by five j cap. Since B cap equals to V one I cap plus V two J cap. Okay. Now we have at zero comma zero will be limit. Tends to zero. F of plus v one comma zero plus v five v two minus f zero comma zero by five. So this is further given as limit as tends to zero. One into five v one q plus five v two q by five into five v one square minus v two square, which is further given by. To zero, v one cube plus v two cube v two cube square minus v two square. To break that down further, four by five four cube plus three by five four cube by four by five four square minus. Three by five whole square. Simplification of the same would give us ninety-one by one twenty-five by seven by twenty-five. By five ja. So it gives nine. <coughs> Subsequently, thirty. We have 13 by 5, which it does not give us 2.6. Therefore, our final answer would be so f 0.0 in direction of 4 by 5 i cap plus 3 by 5. J cap would be 2.6, which is a final answer. So hopefully this thing is clear to you. This was a fairly um, simple question. All we had to do was break down in the form, in the directional form or the vector form in general, and then finally just simplify, putting the limits in place, so that we can uh, come across the answer.
So hopefully everything is clear to you. You understood the process involved. Make sure you go through the video a couple of times and then try the question on your own so that you can get a better understanding of the approaches involved to solving this particular question. So with that said, I'm signing out. Thank you so much.